Well, Election Day is only about a month away, and tonight Lakeland, Public Tele uh, Lakeland PBS resumed its long tradition of providing you a look at your state legislative candidates facing off in head-to-head -head debates. We had two televised debates. The first debate was in House District 2B, where incumbent Republican Steve Green met up with DFL challenger Karen Brandon. One of the topics discussed was hunting, guns, and overall firearm safety. We're going to defend our Second Amendment to the end. Um, we hear a lot of talk about uh, safety, school safety. We have done many things, uh, we tried to do many things in the last legislature to move uh, a lot of money into school safety. The school safety uh, policies that we were trying to implement would have given the money to the schools to decide for themselves what they best needed. I think first of all they're surprised that a woman like me has a gun, owns a gun, and now I'm not a good shot so don't take me hunting because I'm <laughs> really bad at it. But um, I support the fact that people have that right to gun ownership. At the same time, like many other things in our lives, car safety, plane safety, prescription drug safety, we have to build safety features that work for our communities. In the District 2A representative race, incumbent Republican Matt Grossel is being challenged by DFLer Michael Northbert. The candidates discuss many topics, including growing the economy in their district. We do need trade jobs and uh, Having them not only in our, uh, our, our post-education, but in our K-12 through schools, not necessarily the K side, but, you know, um, in, in our senior high schools. Having um, more opportunities for, for younger, the younger generation to have something to, to come out of high school and grow into. Line three, line three replacement. Like I said before, it's a 2.6 to 2.9 billion dollar shot in the arm for the state. And it goes right across the state. And it, uh, it, 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 I heard time and again in the legislature that uh, these are just temporary jobs. Well, these are the people that are supposed to be allegedly representing the, the uh, farmers and the laborers. Contract jobs. These are contract jobs. And our debates continue tomorrow night as we shift down to our Brainerd office for a House debate at 8 p.m. tomorrow night right here on Lakeland PBS. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.